Sebelia, you chase the story to Patterson. Another teenager murdered. What do you got? 14-year-old Nazira Coleman was shot in the back, just walking down the street in Patterson with her best friend coming back from basketball. I spoke to that best friend who was with her when she died, Nigel Smith. He was actually holding her body as blood was pouring from her chest. I felt, I felt lonely. I felt disgusted with me because I could have helped her get out that situation. Like, I could have pulled her to safety, but I just panicked too fast, and then that's when everything just happened. He is the person who then found police. They took his friend Nazira to the hospital. He was also the first one to break the news to Nazira's mother. I said, if you need anything, I'm here. She kept crying and kept crying. Have they caught the lowlife that no. did this? No. There, there hasn't been an arrest yet. Uh, when I spoke to Nigel, I asked him what exactly is going on in Patterson, and he said that it's a question of turf wars. There's uphill, downhill. I asked him, what, what does that mean? Like down here, like they don't like up there, and up there they don't like coming down here. So it's like a lot of beefing going on and whatever. So Nigel has actually built a memorial for Nazira, him and a couple of friends. We've been out here for like basically three, two days straight. Two days straight? Yeah. There was another little girl, a 12-year-old, Genesis Rincon, who was shot in the head while riding her scooter. Right. And the community reaction was incredible. There were like 500 people in front of City Hall, but there was not this reaction for Nazira. Right, where's the anger that we saw? And, and what happened after all that anger? All that anger was poured out into the street and it seems that nothing was done. I think that you have people in a lot of communities, African-American, Hispanic, what have you, who are just defeated. They don't know how you stop this problem. It's not that they don't care about the loss of life. So you can have all the rallies in the world. That's not gonna stop animals from shooting each other. But here's the thing, it does make a difference when so many people show up on the steps of City Hall. It gets politicians to pay attention. Also that same night, one of the shooters of the girl actually turned himself in. Right. But that so brings it does you back make to his a difference. question. What difference did it make? She's dead. Well, that shooter's off the street. Yes. That shooter's off the street. I mean, I, you know, you can't just look at the big picture and say there's a magic wand. You've got to start one criminal at a time getting them off the street. That's only going to be authentically solved from leaders within those communities. I can't step in. No one else is going to step in and solve that problem for them. But the overwhelming majority of African Americans or people in general living in these neighborhoods are not associated with gangs or drugs. So is it African American gang members shooting other African American gang members? Maybe. But that's not representative or speaking for the entire community. Well, we're saying a prayer for that little girl's family.